When people start to question their relationship with alcohol, very often they think that there's a hope that they can moderate, that they can drink like normal drinkers. Now, let me tell you, there's no such thing as a normal drinker. I think anybody who relies on alcohol to some extent is on the alcoholism spectrum. Even people who just drink once a week but couldn't do without alcohol in their life are in some way relying on alcohol. I met someone not so long ago who drank every Friday. It was the only day of the week that she drank and she looked forward to that bottle of wine that she had on a Friday night. All week she would think about it and when she had uncomfortable feelings or emotions come up, she could distract herself by thinking about her bottle of wine on a Friday night. Now, she's not an all day, every day drinker but to some degree she relies on alcohol. When I asked her if she could live a life without alcohol in it, she said absolutely no way. That Friday night bottle of wine is so important to her. So before we start talking about moderation, know that you're not alone in this. To some degree, most people are on the spectrum of alcohol use disorder. Many, many people. It's not uncommon, it's quite the opposite. Now most people, when they start to recognize that they're facing some challenges with their relationship with alcohol, they start to think that there's hope they can just drink normally, that they can go to just one or two nights a week, maybe start drinking later, maybe have less drinks every evening. I've been through this personally, and moderation is a painful place. And the painful thing about it is that you feel like you're missing out. You just want the normal amount of wine or beer or spirits that you usually have. When I was trying to moderate, I'd have two glasses of wine, but in fact, I wanted two bottles. And when I had to stop after the second glass, I felt deprived. I felt like something was missing. I felt like I was in this gray, painful area in between not drinking and drinking like I normally drank. And it was more painful than the feeling of drinking every single day as much as I wanted. You may have already explored moderation. And for some people, the unicorns out there, the very small percentage of people, moderation absolutely can work. They can just take it or leave it. But those people don't watch videos like this. They don't join stop drinking programs like mine. The address is on the screen right now if you need extra help stopping drinking. Those people don't question their relationship with alcohol because they haven't got a problem with it in the first place. Now, you also need to know that when you realize that there's a problem with alcohol, you can never go back to the place of ignorant bliss, the place you were before you realized that something needed to change. As soon as you move into this place of awareness, where you recognize that there's a problem, there's no going back. So we try and hang on to this hope that we can moderate, this hope that we can find a middle ground and that everything will be okay when we find that place. But it doesn't exist. That place does not exist. It's an all or nothing situation. And the only way out is to go through and come out the other side in a world that is alcohol free. And when you get to that place and you overcome the obstacles that are probably going to come your way as you start to work on becoming alcohol free, you realize that life is infinitely better on the other side. There's no point living in this gray area of discomfort. And there's no point sticking with your drinking behavior as it is because you've no doubt realized that it's causing you nothing but problems. Maybe it's impacting your relationship, your career, your health, your friendships, you name it, it can touch every area of your life in a negative way. I don't hear anybody who's still drinking telling me how good their life is. The only people who tell me how good their life is are those who've put the work in and made the effort to become alcohol free. For me, moderation was a myth. I wasted several months hanging on to hope that I could change. But the reality is that we need to face in to the death of hope. We need to let go of the hope. When we're able to let go of the hope that we can still drink to some extent, it allows us to become free. It allows us to move to a place where we can live alcohol free. You need to let go of hope. When you let go of that, and it can feel really, really painful initially, but when you're able to let go of that, it allows you to become lighter. 
You don't have any more decisions to make. You let go of the hope, you let go of the hanging on, and you can get to a place where you can truly be free, truly be light. Alcohol is no longer occupying your thoughts. Sure, there's a challenging period at the beginning. You might experience disrupted sleep. Your emotions might be on a bit of a roller coaster for a period of time. But if you've got the right support, the right connection, and the right tools and tactics, you can move through that fairly quickly. As I mentioned, join my Stop Drinking program. The website address is on the screen and I can give you all the help you need to break free from alcohol, especially if you're in a place where you think moderation might be an option. It might just be that you need some questions answered. And for some people, moderation is a rite of passage into becoming alcohol free for the rest of their lives. They need to go through it to understand that it really doesn't work. As I say, for a very small percentage of people it does, but those people don't tend to be watching videos like this. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's new videos every Tuesday and every Thursday. Hit the subscribe button that's on the screen and the bell icon, and you'll be notified every time there's a new video. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about moderation. How moderation has affected you? Is it something you're still trying to work on? I'd love to hear it. Or have you been able to let go of hope? Let go of hoping that maybe one day you can be a normal drinker? Or have you accepted that there's no such thing as a normal drinker and it's yet another illusion created by alcohol? Until next time, I will see you again very, very soon.